I'd like to tell you I could pronounce the name of this town, but I can't. It's a uh, sea town, fishing village. It's quite prosperous. A lot of nice cars. A lot of nice homes. Have amenities. Quite nice. Cell tower. Little camping ground where we are. Pleasant, pleasant stay here in this little town. As so many, so many. Great morning. Off to a new adventure today. Okay. And turning the, turn on the water, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. on there. It really smells fishy here. It does smell fishy. This is pretty typical of these little towns. They have a gas station called N1. And you can buy a prepaid card for gas. It's Gas is expensive. And they have a pump, and it's 24 hours a day. You just pull up, put your card in, and pump your gas. You can go in and get a pop. But the cool thing is, you can pull up and wash your car for free. Nice little car washing station. You can vacuum your car out for free. You can pump your tires up or check your pressure of your tires for free so it's a one-stop car maintenance thing in Iceland and I think that's so cool you know because these are things that you need to have dealt with and you don't have to do the language barrier you don't have to ask you don't have to you know really go too far out of your way to figure it out and that's a big plus it's a big plus so we're getting ready to get on the road. This is a N1 in a town I cannot pronounce. Um, northeastern Iceland. Far northeastern. Today we will cross over from far upper northeastern to actually northern Iceland. And this is the view.
is northern Iceland. And it's a funny thing. They get more driftwood here. So the fences are all made of driftwood. Logs that have spent time out in the ocean. You can tell the knots have been worn smooth from being on the shore. And a lot of them are split. Logs they'd split into pieces. So they collect driftwood here in the northern part of Iceland and they make fencing out of it or whatever they, they make out of it because Iceland doesn't have a lot of wood. So that's kind of cool. Absolutely beautiful road up here. Look at that beautiful road. And we are way up north. I'm quite a surprise to see this road. We drove past lots of gravel road to get here. So we're in about the most, the uppermost peninsula of Iceland. Uh, the Hornstrander may be a little bit north, but where we're going is pretty much the most northerly tip of Iceland. So this sign that you see, the first letter is the road's road number. The second one is where it's going. And the third one is the distance. So it's 19 miles to Rufferhorn, and it's on road 874. Eight, eight, Ekneri is 202 kilometers. So we're gonna go up here and see, what, this is the most northerly point of Iceland. We're gonna see what we can see. And it is, if I'm not mistaken, about 12 miles from the Arctic Circle. So this will be the furthest north I've ever been. How about you, Susan? <laughs> Definitely me. <laughs> Definitely Susan. Nice little town, way north in Iceland. Surprising the nice cars they have up here. Everyone drives nice cars. Yeah, it's surprising. I haven't seen any old beaters. You know, you don't see too many old beaters in Iceland. Here's the school. School. One of the more northerly schools even in the world. Yes. You know, so close to the Arctic Circle. There's probably some places in uh, Alaska and maybe in Russia that are further north. Jerry's ice cream truck. Look at the little roller. A little roller. Hey, little roller. Yeah, a little roller. <laughs> He's not a high roller. <laughs> He's a little roller. <laughs> Hi, lady. 
Oh my gosh, look at that car. It's, oh. it's kind of a stretch limo cut off. It's a stretch pickup truck. Cadillac pickup truck. I'll take that Cadillac converted pickup truck. The lone boy walking on the street. Listening to earbuds. Speaking of buds. Little bud. Little bud. <laughs> Here's the flag of all nations. Restaurante. The nest. I think I've seen a video on this. The nest. That's a place you can stay. Guest house. Apartment for rent there. I just never see anyone G -G working. GP G Seafoods. And this was what we've come to see. Icelandic Stonehenge. So, north, south, east, west. The four directions. Pretty cool stuff. The cardinal directions, and I don't, I'm not sure what these rocks mean. We'll figure that out at some point. But they are degrees in the on the compass. Not quite done yet. Not quite done yet. But boy, it's pretty cool. These rocks are pretty massive, and they took the time to put them together here. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, this is actually quite cool. I mean, you're very far north. The four cardinal directions, this thing all leans in together. Uh, I guess maybe you'd say it's a work in progress, but it's actually really cool. It's out on this plain in the very north of uh, Iceland. And I don't know where they, quarried these rocks, but pretty cool stuff. This little town. I'm glad we came up here, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, I'm glad we came up here. This is uh, this is uh, off the beaten trail, <laughs> but you know, quite frankly, we spent quite a bit of time off the beaten trail. That's our gig. So come with us, and we'll show you some things that you don't get to see every day. Susan, got, I got another one for you. 